Hello, this is the American Contractor. Today is the 17th of April, 2012. Uh, this is my video podcast. Just want to go over one quick tip for you. Uh, if you're not paying attention to Bloomberg, yeah, you need to be, especially if you're uh, paying attention to what's going on in Iraq with the banking system, the economy. Uh, Bloomberg is, uh, has two reporters, uh, Khalid and Nala. They're based out of Dubai. They do a lot of good reporting on um, the banking system and the economy in Iraq. And one thing I want to point out here is that in 2013, the central bank will cut three digits from the currency. So all this talk about what's going to happen in September, July, August of this year is uh, just not true. It's always been uh, the 2013. That was the uh, the benchmark, so to speak. But now we know now that it's, it's all been put on hold because um, the Iraqi cabinet says uh, we're going to suspend this until we launch our investigations, see what the outcome is with the cabinet investigation, also with the parliament investigation, and who knows how many other investigations the CBI is going to be under. On uh, the 12th of April, I wrote this post. Um, we will see the departures in the management of the CBI by the end of the year. It is rumored that they will be leaving the country. And what I should have said was by the end of the year or sooner. Because now we already have the first person leaving would be Ahmed Jabari, which is the one of the three deputy central bank governors of the CBI. And he gave his resignation as for medical reasons and he'll be commuting between Jordan and Amman. So it is suspicious that he is leaving right now um, because of the investigations from the Iraqi government towards the CBI. So this will be interesting to see what happens and uh, um, see if this is legit. They did leave for medical reasons. Uh, we don't know. Governor Sinan al-Shabibi, he's the CBI governor. Uh, interesting article here. The headline says Central Bank Governor left for the IMF beating and he's not fleeing sources. And the reason why they printed this is because of the Ahmed Jabari is leaving, and they every started started giving rumors around Baghdad, saying, "Hey, um, you know, Sinan Al Shabibi is he, you know, he fleeing also?" But uh, not yet. Um, I don't think he's uh, leaving. Now, they say he's going to the IMF meeting, but uh, I'm not really sure about that either. Interesting note here in this article: is that Iraq media reported that Shabibi fled the country with important documents related to the secrets of the CBI. And so if you don't know that every document in the CBI is state secret, so of course you'd be having some uh, secrets uh, related to the CBI. Banking here. Uh, this is a red flag here, a major red flag. Um, slowly the information is coming out of Baghdad about the, uh, the illegal activities of, of what's going on with the CBI. Because what's happening here is that they had 21 companies that are approved to uh, conduct currency auctions sales with the uh, CBI. But they had 10 other one, other companies, a total of 31, that were also conducting the, the currency auctions. And these 10 other companies were not authorized at all, but they were doing it and under the, with the CBI. So who in the CBI authorized this? Who allowed this to happen? It's a lot of questions being raised. Uh, how long has this been going on? Uh, you know, three months, three weeks, three days, three years? Um, this is a, a very uh, major... So they're very major with the CBI and the, uh, and the currency auctions. There's a lot of focus going on there uh, with the CBI. And uh, that's why the Iraqi cabinet, the, the PM Maliki, is investigating the CBI. And so is the Iraqi parliament because they're all um, pretty, pretty, um, pretty upset right now and disappointed with the CBI if this is all true. So I'm pretty sure they get to the bottom of it and we'll see what's going on. And if you remember now, uh, they said that the um, all the rises, the rise of the dollar to the tense political situation internally and regionally, the current CBI is saying that the currency crisis is based on the political tension in in Iraq and the neighboring countries. And um, I think they're just trying to uh, throw blame on someone else besides the CBI because they know that uh, they're probably doing something they should have been doing. But it's all going to come out. We all hope anyway. Here I just want to throw this out there. Um, a, lot of, a whole lot of people have been talking about this. Uh, it's been reported that the Kurds in the north have shut down all their oil exports out of the northern Iraq. And uh, they're doing this because the central government is, has not given them any, give them the money. Uh, it says here $3 billion, $450 million to pay off the oil companies that are operating in northern Iraq. And uh, central Baghdad 
government uh, is refusing to give them any money. So they, so the Kurdish, the Kurdistan uh, regional government, shut down all all their exports. And I'm sure the KRG is thinking that they're going to hurt Central Baghdad of Iraq. And this could be further from the truth. They just uh, basically just shot themselves in the foot. Um, they're going to have to live with their 17% of the Iraqi budget. That's what they're allowed to have. And, um, you know, they're not going to sway the central government with all those illegal uh, oil contracts in the north. And by shutting down, they think they're going to put a hurting on the, uh, you know, PM Maliki and his cabinet and the oil ministry. And it's just not going to happen because in the KIP report here, it says here the Iraq Southern Oil Export Surge in April. So all the, all the, um, Kurdish oil that was expected to be exported, the southern oil fields and central Baghdad uh, oil fields also are all uh, taking up the slack for the um, for the shortfall of the Kurds oil, um, and um, so Kurds are are going to be they're going to be hurt in the next few months, and uh, they're going to come around because they need the central bank of Iraq, they need the central bank of uh, you know the PM Malik and his cabinet. To support the Kurds, and um, so we'll see. Uh, AK News must be reading the American Contractor blog site because a few days ago I said this that uh, it's a possibility that uh, Iran, Syria, you know, Iraq, they all work together. So they published this article uh, yesterday. You know, Maliki accuses of seeking to dominate the central bank to help Syria and Iran. Don't know if it's true or not. It's a possibility. Um, you know, maybe partially true, don't know, but in um, AK News is the Kurdish um, publication, so they're always um, negative towards uh, PM Maliki and his cabinet in the central bank, or the uh, central government, so. IMF meeting is, uh, is happening uh, this weekend, the 20th and through the 22nd. Like I said, IMF uh, has this every year in Washington, D.C., don't know if uh, Shabibi will be attending. Um, there's rumors that he is, but uh, I, ju I just don't know yet. Um, it's all up in the air. So we'll have to see what happens. My email address is ac at americancontractor.com. My Skype address is American Contractor. Um, you can contact me there. Uh, love to hear any feedback, um, comments about uh, these videos that I've been doing. And, um, you know, are they good? Are they not? Uh, well, what can do better and what you could like to see? And I uh, appreciate any comments. And uh, like I said, you can get a hold of me on email or Skype. And, um, and I appreciate all the comments on the blog also. Uh, subscribe to the American Contractor mailing list. Uh, basically, just put your name and uh, your email address. You'll receive a confirmation that you want to join my mailing list. Uh, be sure you return that back, you know, and uh, look look out for that email. And um, I like the mailing list because every time I post something, a video, an article, I always send out an email to everybody saying, hey, I posted uh, an article or a video on the American Contractor blog site. And I appreciate everybody coming to the site and uh, being supportive. And uh, and um, no matter what it is, either, either negative or positive, you know, I, I do post. Uh, I just found out just recently. Um, and um, just don't allow any kind of uh, profanity or racist comments or anything like that. Just, just don't, it's not, American contractors, uh, you know, not that type of a form to uh, be publishing those type of comments. But uh, I mean, thank you for visiting, and um, I'll just see you next time. This is American Contractor on the 17th of April, uh, and we'll uh, talk to you later. Hope you uh, enjoyed my video. Thank you.